Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Triple N Talk Show. I am Dr. Nick Nickam. Have you ever considered investing in a real estate property in India? Are you looking for to looking for a place to settle down in India, or you want to buy a property for one of your relatives? And we are going to cover all these aspects during the next thirty minutes. And we have a special guest from India. And before we do that, first of all, I would like you to download our app, which is N N N Media app for your Android or Apple devices, so you can watch all our talk shows, which are live video stream to YouTube and Google Plus. While we are talking about uh, YouTube, uh, you can also watch more than 600 videos we have accenting the Indian experience here in Houston, Texas. So this half hour, we are going to be talking about. Uh, investing in real estate property in india and my special guest is srinivas verma and he's going to educate us about the real estate property in india what to look for you know how to select your property and what are all the things that you need to know before you invest in a real estate property mr verma welcome to triple n talk show thank we you. are delighted to have you thank you sir <laughs> okay let's start off by uh, telling about uh, you are Indian pro India property dot com and what is your role in helping people connect with the builders in India? Yeah, India property dot com is basically a website where yeah. uh, the properties will be listed. You can go into www dot India property dot com to search for a property. Since India, uh, we are not equipped to buy a property yet online. That is the reason we are also organizing property shows. Property shows. Uh, the name of this property show is Gruha Pravesh. We started yeah. organizing uh, these shows five years back, and uh, we started doing this in abroad as well, in various locations across the world. So U.S. We started uh, three years back. This will be our sixth edition, and the first one in Houston to uh, yes. do this property expo. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Triple N Talk Show, and what he was referring to was the the Gruha Pravesh, uh, which is going to be held at the twenty held at the Stafford Center on Cash Road on October twenty fourth and twenty fifth from ten a.m. till eight p.m. That is coming up this weekend. And uh, uh, having said that, we're going to cover about this uh, in more detail. First, we would like to learn a little more about investing in real estate property in India. Uh, let's uh, talk about you know if I want to look at a property for myself for, for coming back to live in USA uh, in India, or if I want to buy a property for one of my relatives. Uh, let's walk us through a scenario. You know we're looking at like two to three bedroom complex or apartment or uh, a flat, whatever you call it in India. How, how do we go about? What are the most important things we need to look forward to? Yeah, uh, if you're looking for a property in India, yeah. the, the first thing what you look for is which city you want to invest uh, in I India. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are two aspects to it. One is for living. The other one is for an investment. Investment. Yes. If it is an investment, uh, normally what happens is people usually invest in the cities where they have connect. I see. Okay, yeah. some of the people also invest in various cities which are giving uh, the maximum returns. I see. Yeah. The current trend in past three years, uh, if you take a span of three to five years, the best uh, cities which are giving maximum uh, returns, yeah. as per the uh, news by any of the newspapers or any of the media houses, Bangalore and Pune are giving the maximum returns. They are giving from 20% range to 30% over a period of uh, uh, per annum yeah. or a period of five years. These are the best cities to invest as an investor. If you're looking for living, depending on area of your preference, we brought all the builders from India to exhibit the properties. The whole idea of this exhibition see, yeah. is basically if you go back to India to search for a property, yeah. it will take a minimum one day to build uh, to visit a builder. I know. <laughs> so here, what we are doing is we are bringing all yeah. of them. If you can take two hours of your time, visit uh, uh, our property expo on 24th or 25th. I see. Yeah. 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah. So you can visit all of them, all cities under one roof. So it makes the buying easy and you can get updated on what is happening back in India in respective cities. 
that's fascinating and uh, you know let, let's get a little bit more specific and uh, you know in the united states we talk about square foot you know 3000 square foot house or or 2000 square foot house or a apartment or something like that uh, what is the terminology used in india <laughs> in india also it is uh, it is called a square foot uh -huh. and uh, it is called a square uh, square feet and uh, there yeah. are two types of square calculation yes. of uh, each individual uh, apartment yes, or yeah. uh, uh, villa yeah. It is uh, super built up area and the carpet area. I carpet see. area is the one which you occupy at the house, house is carpet yes. area. And uh, the other one is super built up. Super built up area includes uh, the common areas. Common areas and, and, uh, and the swimming pool and everything else. <laughs> yeah, mo mostly think, uh, amenities. Uh, amenities will be separate it's I, not it I, doesn't come under common area yeah for some of the builders they treat those things are also oh, under I see, common yeah. area and uh, so what are we talking in terms of price per square foot because i visited bombay bangalore in 2006 and it sounded like it was most more expensive than the most expensive place in houston to me <laughs> Yeah, ma Bangalore, uh, yeah. I know that's the reason I was <laughs> mentioning in your yeah. first question. Uh, I know some of the cities have given phenomenal returns yeah. <laughs> over a period of last five years. People who bought uh, uh, the property five years back, yeah. they got almost three times of appreciation. So if I buy a property with $100,000, yeah. now it is $300,000 five years back. That's the kind of appreciation people have uh, seen. That's the reason. Our shows also, majority of the people look for Bangalore I and see. Pune. These are the two cities which have given phenomenal. I, I, I was really, really surprised because uh, I hadn't been in a long time and I'm from Karnataka. And when I went to Bangalore, you know, as we landed, all I could see was like high rise complexes yes. Uh, yes. All, all across, uh, uh, all around the airport. <laughs> yes. And uh, this, which is typically we see in the United States and other Countries. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> and the, you know, the development is so rapid. Yeah, I, even I <laughs> frequently visit Bangalore for my work purpose. Yeah. My first visit was uh, uh, when I was with BNP Paribas Bank. Yeah, it was in 2000, and uh, you know, uh, the first visit to my last visit, uh, you can't imagine the kind of uh, growth what has happened in Bangalore. So, so what are we talking in terms of? Uh, in terms of dollars or rupees per square foot square foot it ranges from uh, hundred dollars to three hundred dollars is a kind of uh, square you're foot talking rate. dollars i thought you're talking yeah. rupees <laughs> no 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 is the huh? kind of range uh, really? hundred dollars to three hundred dollars so is the kind how, of, uh, how much hundred thousand dollars us dollars yeah can buy in say like in bangalore or pune <laughs> Yeah, in Bangalore or Pune, you can buy uh, 1,000 to 1,500 uh, square foot apartment. It depends on the place uh, you know, where you are preferring. Uh, it may be ranging from uh, 100 to 150 kind of uh, rate. So, so you are talking uh, maybe like 12 to 1,500 square foot? Yeah, would cost maybe around $100,000. Two, two bedroom sort of a apartment or a flat. Yes. So that will be about approximately hundred thousand dollars. Yes, that's not a small amount of money, you know, even by American standard. <laughs> yeah, it's hundred thousand. Ladies not and small. gentlemen, you are watching a Triple N talk show. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. We are talking about investing in real estate property in India, either for your own personal use or for investment purpose. And we're going to dig more into, uh, you know, what kind of investment returns we are going to get. And my special guest is uh, Srinivas Verma from uh, IndiaProperty.com. So yours is basically a website which brings the buyer and sellers to a common marketplace. Is yes. that right? Absolutely. Uh -huh. So uh, apart from this, we are doing the shows uh, to yes. make the uh, you know the buying easy for the customer. So so you're going to the customer's neighborhood and showing them you know this is what's available uh, uh, in India and, and look at all the different ways. Uh, okay, let's talk about when I'm looking for a place to buy or, or live. What are all the things uh, I should be looking for in terms of you talked about the location? What about the the, the type? of the building and things like that <laughs> yeah uh, it depends on the preference what you have we are, we are bringing plots yeah uh, we are bringing uh, apartments 
bringing condos and uh, we also have villas so it is a choice of the customer what exactly he wants to buy and uh, he needs to look at uh, the the right uh, uh, kind of uh, the developer mm -hmm. so that he will not have any hassles so the builder has uh, yeah. delivered in the past uh, on time or not if not uh, you know what are the reasons why he was not able to deliver and you have you must consider you know the best uh, developers who have delivered on time so that's how you can shortlist your properties <laughs> and uh, whomever we are bringing up, uh, we are bringing brands yeah. like lnt we are bringing brands like brigade uh, uh, godrej all are all of them are reputed yeah. brands and most of them have delivered on time without any legal hassles uh, to the end user that's the reason we we make sure that whomever we are bringing yeah. they have uh, reputation and they have their credibility that's fascinating. You know, when I was growing up in India, you know, buying a house was like a whole generational uh, uh, achievement. Absolutely. <laughs> because when, when my father bought the first house, you know, that was like his whole life achievement. Uh, how, how much of a hassle it is, you know, let's say we, we pick a 1500 square foot two bedroom apartment or flat, you, you say. How much time does it take from the time you say, okay, I like this one to the time we walk in and say, okay, this is ours. <laughs> so uh, we have. What are all the formalities we have to go yeah, through? Yeah, uh, per se, yeah. if you are taking a property which is already built yeah. uh, and ready to occupy, uh, it's a uh, it will not take more than forty eight hours. All that you the property has to be registered on your name, and uh, they will give an NOC certificate. After that, uh, you know you can occupy the property. They will give the keys, and uh, that will be yours. So apart from preferences like you going for interiors and all that, again, choices of individual. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's maximum of 48 hours, you will get the key and you can take over your flat. That sounds like a dream world to me coming from India. <laughs> no, it is happening uh, uh, Seriously, now. because, uh, you know, with all the bureaucracy and bribery going on <laughs> at every level of life, everywhere in the world perhaps not just india i mean how is it possible to have something you know like buying a house or a complex uh, could be so simplified no it is a transaction <laughs> yeah uh, i know it is like uh, you going to bank and uh, depositing uh, so, <laughs> some money in your personal account is as simple as that because the the transfer of the property will happen through register and that once the transfer I happens see, yeah. you will get the document in two three days maximum before that you can occupy once everything is done you can occupy your property even no in this hassle. country it, it takes like six weeks to two months to process a, a house loan a, a big house loan and, and to get all the documents in order and you know we have, of course we have to go to a a title company to do the title search and all this of course uh, you know it's a pretty elaborate process in this country <laughs> yeah uh, usually what happens is the builders will be tied up with various yes. banks yeah once the ho home loan is approved by the bank so the title and all the back-end work is already done by yeah. the bank so it makes it easy for example if i am a builder uh, uh, my my bank uh, i am associated with state bank of india yeah. or i am associated I with uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, private banks like hdfc I or see. icica so uh, these banks will do the uh, uh, listing of my property and they will check my background based on that they will sanction the loan I so see. already the title everything will be checked by these banks so if my credit limit is possible for the bank to give him a, give a loan, so immediately they will process within three days. It will not take much more time than three days. That's yes. fascinating. Uh, you know, when we are talking about uh, loan, $100,000 loan, if somebody wants to get a loan from one of the Indian banks, what is the interest rate we are talking about? See, uh, uh, the current interest rate is at 9.75%. Uh, you must percent. be joking. Yeah, that's the interest rate, and uh, you know the, what's the interest rate in United States yeah. for a home loan today? Yeah, it's like three point five percent. 
yeah uh, basically mm-hmm. if you deposit uh, your money into a us bank you may be getting 0.5 0.5 or 1 yeah. 1% where yeah. in india you get around 6.5 to 7% mm-hmm. so there is a difference yeah. because of the economy and various factors so you get 7% there up to 7% <laughs> if see. you are a senior citizen you may get up to 7% That's so fascinating. The, okay, let's talk about. Let's say we are putting this hundred thousand dollars in a fifteen hundred square foot space and yeah. as an investment. Yeah, I'm putting hundred thousand dollars and I'm paying nine percent interest. What kind of return can I expect? Well, uh, uh, it depends on uh, where you are uh, yeah. investing the uh, money. For example, mm. uh, like I was telling, uh, past yeah. uh, Bangalore has given twenty two. 30% of appreciation on the property yeah and uh, in terms of rental you may get up to you know in dollars i can say that 400 to 500 dollars depending on area which you are choosing uh, that's kind of returns you will get uh, wait a minute wait a minute no, no, let, let me do i'm not, i'm a doctor i, I don't do maths <laughs> i'm investing 100000 dollars and you give me 5000 dollars return that's that's like less than 5% <laughs> for year yeah it's If less I, than yeah, 5% <laughs> yeah it is less than 5% really yeah less than 5% then how do you justify somebody to come and invest in india for the, the, less the, the, than the 5%? property is appreciating the, the best part is you know the, the kind of appreciation what uh, you are getting in india you are not getting anywhere oh, oh, okay property appreciating it's a hypothetical number how easy it is to sell uh, 1500 square foot space uh, or apartment or a house or a yeah, company it is not uh, very difficult to sell a property because yeah. so, you know, it works on demand and supply depending on what uh, kind of area your property is in uh, you can list your property in websites like indiaproperty.com you have other website websites where you can list your property and if you if you are able to find a, uh, a buyer you can th- there is no transaction fee also if you are finding a buyer by yourself if you have, if some some agent is bringing the buyer you have to all that you have to pay him is 2% it's not like 6% not, uh, not, realtor not, free in this country no in, not like that America. it is 2% only. so what's the average time these properties stay on the market before they are sold let's say in a high demand area like uh, bangalore or pune something like that the high demand area uh, uh, it will be sold in a, in between one month to three months i see and yeah. that's the time period you need to have in your mind if it is very hot property in prime location probably it will be sold within days mm-hmm. and uh, if it is uh, not a super prime location probably it will take uh, so one to three months so what would be the biggest attraction for foreign investors not only from states but from all other countries to come and invest in india even in the prime area like bangalore or pune the the, the prime attraction is the past track record of uh, yeah. those cities uh, even other than bangalore and uh, pune there are the consistent uh, uh uh consistently giving returns uh, yeah. for the investor if you see mumbai and other cities If you go back uh, uh, for last ten years, uh, amazing returns it is. No, no other cities have across the world has given so much of returns. Mumbai has given great returns. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hyderabad last five years it was sluggish. Now it is the time. If you see anywhere in the country, yeah. Hyderabad is the cheapest market right now. I see. Uh-huh. So I know when when the market is low, you that's the time. I know as per I the see. Warren yeah. Buffett's quotes, you must. Uh, put in all the money yeah. when the market is uh, low currently hyderabad is one of the lowest markets uh, bangalore is performing chennai is also a good market to invest we have builders from pune ahmedabad the, uh, the the prime minister is from the state and yeah. uh, it is developing uh, very mm-hmm. rapidly so ahmedabad is also a good market uh, we do have uh, builders coming for, uh, from ncr region that's mm-hmm. a capital region so we have a uh, lot of potential growth so depending on the individual choices every market has uh, you know, grown yeah. but uh, overall if you see uh, as per the reports and analysis given by various uh, uh, 
analysts pune and uh, bangalore are the markets which have given maximum returns that's fascinating ladies and gentlemen you are watching the triple n talk show i am dr nick nikam and we are talking about investing in indian real estate uh, property and my special guest is uh, shrinivas verma from uh, indiaproperty.com while we are talking uh, we would like you to download our app which is nnn media and it can be downloaded for either android or apple devices and you can follow us all around the globe and when you you can watch us on youtube which is live streaming our talk right now and also on google plus and while you're on youtube you can also watch more than 600 videos we have accenting our experience here in the houston area we also have a facebook page called nick nickam network where you can keep us uh, keep up with us what's uh, what's happening all around the globe and especially in the houston area and we are talking about uh, real estate uh, property uh, in investing in india okay let's say someone has uh, wants to invest half a million dollar they want to buy like five units this hundred thousand dollar units for investment purpose they don't have time to go sit there and rent and collect rent and all these things. So how, how are they going to be able to accomplish that? So we uh, <laughs> normally uh, in India, in, uh, uh, asset management companies have started. I see. And, uh, they will be managing your assets in terms of uh, collecting the rent, paying taxes, paying bills uh, for various uh, uh, things and making sure that your tenant is paying all the bills or not. These things they charge a limited fee uh, on uh, per uh, apartment basis, I and see. they will take care of the entire property. Okay, that let's is... talk about some of the expenses. So, and I mean, of course, we own a house, and uh, we we are taxed through the nose, especially here in Houston, Texas. What is the property tax rate in India? Uh, uh, property tax rate per uh, uh, half yearly would be uh, my property is in Hyderabad. Yes, I yes. stay in Hyderabad. Uh -huh. I will give my example yeah. so that it will be easy for everybody That's to true. understand. Yeah. Uh, it's in Gachiboli. So I pay 4,000 uh, rupees. That's less than $100 if you compare uh, for six months. It's so half what year. are the expenses are there? If I'm investing, you know, one year to pay, what is the fee for the management? Uh, management will be uh, one rent uh, per annum. Well, one month rent, one month oh, okay. rent yeah. per annum. And what are the expenses are there if I'm you know, just using purely for investment purpose? Except for the tax, there is no other expenses. Uh -huh. Unless until your uh, a tenant is paying the uh, Utilities maintenance and electricity fee. And yeah. yeah. So who, who pays the taxes? The tenant pays the tax or? or Usually the owner the will pay the tax and the tenant has to pay the maintenance of the building. For oh, example, if yeah. you are living in a gated community, <laughs> so there will be uh, maintenance for po swimming pool, yeah. electricity, common area, electricity, and various things will be there that will be paid by the tenant. So if somebody has invested half a million dollars in India, mm -hmm. how often do they need to visit India or everything can be done from wherever everything, they are? Everything can be done from wherever they are. They need not visit uh, even once. Yeah. I know the property can be managed by any asset management company. So do you assist like foreign uh, investors in terms of connecting with the, the builders or, or existing apartment complexes uh, uh, so that they don't even have to visit, you know, they can just look through the websites and through virtual video <laughs> tours, things like that, and uh, feel confident to invest money in India? Yeah, uh, the whole idea of uh, bringing the builders uh, yeah. to Houston is basically <laughs> they can personally interact I with see. the customer. Yeah. And, uh, usually what happens sometimes is people, uh, they will be in between the lines while <laughs> you are going through the website yeah. or while, while you are you know, buying online. So those things in US, one good thing is you have a written, great return policy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't think that will be there for houses in US as well. Yeah. So uh, the builder is coming all the way from India. I see. So you can have an interaction with the builder, one-to-one -one interaction, which gives a lot of insight about how the market is developing and uh, is it worth uh, to invest uh, in India or not? I know if you are looking for a window of three to five years also, 
this is the best place to visit and you can have as much as uh, information to buy a property in future as well that's fascinating ladies and gentlemen we are talking about investing in india and uh, in fact there is going to be a, a, an exhibition here right at uh, stafford center in uh, stafford uh, texas uh, this is called gruha pravesh 2015 on 24th and the 25th of uh, october which is coming up this weekend from 10 a.m to 8 p.m and it, it's open to public it's free admission and you can uh, let's talk about who, who are some of the builders they are going to be able to interact with uh, uh, at this uh, open house <laughs> Uh, we do have uh, Godrej. Yeah. Uh, they have properties in uh, various uh, cities. So they have properties in uh, uh, Mumbai. They have properties in Pune, Chennai, Bangalore, Ahmedabad, and mm -hmm. Delhi and CR region. We uh, we have LNT. They have properties in yeah. uh, Chennai. Bangalore, they're launching a great project, which is open, uh, not at open yeah. in India, but it is open for the US uh, uh, customers. And uh, LNT has projects in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, Vadva Group, they have properties in Mumbai. I see, yeah. uh, we have uh, uh, other builders like Aparna Brigade. Aparna is from Hyderabad. I see. Brigade is from uh, Bangalore. They have properties in Bangalore, Mangalore, Chikmangalore. Mm -hmm. Mysore, all of Karnataka. We have Provident Purvankara. Yeah. Again, they are from Karnataka. They have properties in Pune as well. So we have uh, uh, all the regions we have builders. Uh, Delhi so how, how many builders will be exhibiting uh, at this? Uh, we we uh, have 18 builders uh, coming all the way from India to yeah. exhibit the, their properties. And their employees are traveling all the way from India I see, yeah. for this property. So export. for me as a foreign investor, how do I assess these builders? Is there like a like a gauge or something uh, telling, you know, their rankings or their standings? Uh, like here we have a, a like a ratings. <laughs> yeah. Like a bureau ratings. Yeah. So is there something like that in India? <laughs> it is not yet started, but uh, it's going to be uh, uh, there. Yeah, uh, in because terms some of, of these, I mean, yeah. there are crooks all over the world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even in this country, you know, they will take your money and, and disappear. I completely <laughs> understand. Uh, as of now, I can say the, all these builders are IP verified, India property verified yeah. builders. Uh, we, we have done our uh, initial verification. But uh, if you ask me legally, is it a, a verification uh, which is done by the government? No. But we have done our uh, verification. These properties are good. And uh, uh, there is no uh, default history for any of these nice. builders. Yes. What about like in, in this country, you know, we can buy insurance and things like that. If something were to happen or if we have a, like a fake builder who will just take the money and run away, mm -hmm. uh, are there safeguards like that in India? <laughs> no, uh, insurance is available uh, if uh, the building is uh, collapsed yeah. or you know, if there is a fire accident. So, so accidental insurance for the building is there. Yeah. But... Uh, as you are mentioning, such kind of uh, insurance is not at there. Yeah. <laughs> at there, but I'm sure, you know, before buying any property, I'm everybody has a connect back in India. I see. You yeah. can check with your relatives whether the builder has delivered on time or not. Yeah. Everybody knows. It's it's very close uh, circle. Yeah. So everybody knows who is delivering and who is not delivering. So one phone call will tell you the information. So similarly, yeah. I know you can ask me a question <laughs> saying that we will verify over the phone. Yeah. So if you come to this show, you will get to know each and each every building, property. Yeah. For example, if I belong to Hyderabad, I'm staying in US. If I go back to Hyderabad, I won't invest in Bangalore. Yeah. So to go to Bangalore and check the market, it is time taking. Process. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Here, <laughs> even to even to get around in a rickshaw, it's going to take you several days. <laughs> several days. So it is easy for somebody to come check on uh, the properties. Yeah. I'm not saying buy here. OK, this you check, yeah. do your research. If you like it, you can you know, further proceed. This is an expo where you can see, yeah. have a, a discussion with the person who is representing that uh, particular company. 
you, if you like it you check with your uh, uh, relatives parents or anybody yeah. you can ask somebody to visit the site I see, uh, if yeah. you like it then you can take it forward with uh, seeing is believing somebody has to see what is happening that on is, the absolutely. site absolutely ladies and gentlemen you are watching the triple n talk show i am dr nick nikam your host and uh, my special guest is uh, shrinivas verma from indiaproperties.com in india and they connect buyers and uh, uh, property owners uh, in india so that uh, you can either buy a property for your own personal use or for investment purposes uh, uh, let's talk about your website and and tell us all the different uh, kinds of services uh, that you provide to a prospective buyer either for investment or for personal use if they want to return back to india sure uh, indiaproperty.com is basically started as a website yeah where uh, if anybody is searching for a property or wanted to sell a property you can or rent a property you can list your properties in india indiaproperty.com so uh, up to 15 days it's a free service uh, for anybody to list their property beyond that we Actually. charge a service fee yes uh, to list the properties and uh, we have various uh, services like we do assisted property for example you have a property uh, yeah. uh, you are searching for a property you want somebody to help in finalizing your property you give uh, we charge a very nominal fee unlike broker we don't charge any percentage on your I transaction see. we charge a nominal fee to uh, guide you to get I a see. property yeah. in a specific city apart from this we do a lot of property expos to ensure that uh, all the builders and uh, uh, end users are me meeting under one roof these are the primary services what we are uh, providing uh, from india uh, okay uh, you know in houston we have what's called the har which is a houston area uh, houston uh, what is it houston area realtors mm -hmm. maybe you may want to visit that website and see because they list uh, practically every property in the houston area mm -hmm. whether it's apartments houses office buildings or anything and they have extensive listing of all the things that are connected to even a simple apartment <laughs> mm -hmm. that might give some idea as to you know how extensively they provide the information for a prospective renter or a buyer Uh, yeah, well, our site also has all the information. We provide uh, yeah. uh, uh, the pictures of the current see, uh, yeah. progress of the property. We provide mm -hmm. uh, you know nearest school, nearest hospital. That's okay, yeah. so every minute detail of that particular property is uh, integrated into the website, so that uh, if I am searching for a property sitting here uh, in, in uh, Bangalore. so if i move from here to bangalore will i get hospital services nearby will i get uh, school services will i get uh, other public yeah. services everything will be listed in our website like you said you know you're from hyderabad and if you go to bangalore you got to spend two days in the rickshaw just to find the location <laughs> yeah but supposing i i pick a building and okay you know this is where i pr perhaps want to invest how do i know i'm not being taken for a ride because six months later i may find out my neighbor probably got for 25% less than what i paid for the same flat or a, see currently a, uh, at least the builders whom we are getting yeah. uh, they uh, they they are doing uh, uh, the uh, fair uh, uh, deal in terms of pricing yeah there is no one who will say that uh, you know i will uh, it's all open pricing you can yeah. check in india you can check uh, through your sources it is uh, flat pricing which is I see. which will be the same for you me or anybody who is going to buy a property it can't be dual pricing where uh, you know you will get x pricing somebody will I get see. x plus 1 so it is not the case mm -hmm. so do do people have a chance to bargain with these uh, prices uh, most of the builders no but few of them still do it mm -hmm. uh, so or maybe they can give some extra amenities or uh, things like that yeah those <laughs> kind of kitchen uh, yeah. facilities or uh, <laughs> ac those kind of things depending on how fast you finalize yeah but uh, uh, bargain in terms of uh, there, there is certain exclusivity by the builders you know for the people buying here yeah. uh, you know during the show 
Hmm. So there, there is an opportunity if you are uh, looking for something in Bangalore. L and T is launching a project, so that is open, not yeah. not open in India yet, and it is only open for their employees and uh, uh, people who are buying in US. So that's a good uh, opportunity for people to look at that. Uh, okay, uh, supposing you know, let's say somebody from here. Is retired and they want to settle down in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, how do they select what location in the city of Bangalore, and then you know how to select the right property uh, in terms of time? You know, uh, where do they start, and you know before they walk into maybe so, from the airport they walk into their own house. <laughs> Okay, uh, so b basically every city is divided uh, like north, east, yeah. west, and south. Dep it is personal choice. For example, if you ask me, uh, you know, would you prefer to stay in North Bangalore or South Bangalore? Okay. Uh, both are uh, equally developing, rapidly developing. Yeah. So, for example, if my relatives, friends, yeah. everybody is staying <laughs> in South Bangalore, I prefer South That's Bangalore. True, yeah. If somebody is staying in North Bangalore, and uh, my convenient. For example, I have a piece of land where I can do some agricultural. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know for my uh, I know daily routine yeah. kind of thing after retirement. So I prefer those areas so that it will be convenient for me to travel and uh, I know do my daily routine. So well, once you select the section of the city, then I guess you have to look at all the different. Builders various who, builders who, who, who are there, who are there and uh, their credibility, what uh, they're yeah. delivering uh, in terms of uh, commitment. So, versus, do you all assist uh, somebody coming from states in terms of you know looking at all these different properties and 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 making a choice as to which one is most suitable for them? No, we will show uh, the properties. Yes. Uh, you know, the, the final decision making will be uh, with the person who is deciding. I we see. don't influence uh, to decide any property. <laughs> the reason is, uh, you know, end of the day, if I'm paying my hard-earned money, <laughs> it has to be decided by me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching a Triple N talk show coming to you live from Houston, Texas. I'm Dr. Nick Nickham, and my special guest is uh, Srinivas Verma from IndiaProperty.com, and we are talking about uh, uh, buying property in India either for personal use or for investment purposes. And we have covered a, a great deal of uh, things. Okay, let's talk about this uh, expo that is coming up, which is called uh, Gruha Pravesh 2015 at the Stafford Center on 24th and 25th of uh, this month, which is uh, perhaps, uh, which is of course this weekend. Uh, what can people expect to see here and what can they get out of this expo? <laughs> Yeah, uh, basically this expo uh, is planned uh, to ensure that the maximum information is given to the customer. I see, yeah. Okay, uh, normally if any person is going back to India, okay, I, I come back to my example, <laughs> yeah. okay, to search for a property, it will take to meet 10 builders, it will take uh, more than 10 days. Yeah. Here, I know you can compare what is uh, being delivered by each builder so that you will get updated what is happening back in India. You can know if you have some properties in those particular areas, you can know get updated what kind of uh, square feet rate is prevailing and what kind of appreciation you got so far on your previous investments. Apart from this, you have any queries like uh, you want to invest in X, uh, XYZ property you, you are deciding so that you can do a comparison with uh, the same area builders and know whether you are doing the right thing or not. Yeah, that's fascinating. Okay, once again, you can give out your website uh, information uh, uh, for those who might be interested in exploring more about uh, properties in India. So we, uh, we have uh, www.indiaproperty.com mm -hmm. and uh, events.indiaproperty.com. So if you want to know about this particular event, uh, you can register yourself uh, at events.indiaproperty.com or www.indiaproperty.com. Srinivas, it's been a pleasure thank talking you. to you. Thank I you. learned a great deal about investing in India. And uh, thank you very much for coming on Triple N Talk Show. <laughs> it was great talking to you and it's my awesome. pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And we will see you tomorrow. And we are going to be talking about uh, 
the all-star cricket uh, uh, game which is going to be happening on November 11th at uh, the Minute Maid Park here in Houston, Texas. So this is Nick Nickham and we'll see you next time. Thank you.